Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the Thanksgiving edition for Thursday, the 23rd of November. I'm James Spann. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Things are nice and quiet in the weather office today. Check it out. There's the water vapor satellite view. Actually, a trough is passing through, kind of digging down through the Gulf of Mexico. That is producing some rain over parts of central and south Florida early this morning. Rain falling in places like Jacksonville, Tampa Bay, Orlando, Daytona Beach. But around here, it's basically clear and cold. A lot of 20s on the board. Coleman down to 25. Upper 20s for Fort Payne and Gadsden, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, 30. We'll expect a high in most spots in the upper 50s to near 60 today. With a sunny sky, just a fantastic Thanksgiving day. Nationally, very cold in the northeast. And back in the desert southwest, they're going to be heating up. I say the deserts even over into places like San Diego and Los Angeles. A big upper high will push some of those folks up into the 90s today. So a high amplitude pattern with the very cold air in the northeast and that warmth in the southwest. But really no major storms again uh, on this Thanksgiving Day. That's the uh, watch warning map around the nation. Some wind issues in some of the northwestern states, and that's about it. Uh, marginal risk of severe weather for parts of the Florida Peninsula today. Uh, that would include places like Orlando, uh, Melbourne, Fort Myers, West Palm Beach, the areas there in the darker green with that wave coming in from the Gulf. Here's the rain for the next seven days, and uh, this is showing maybe a, a tenth of an inch for parts of the state, but uh, I just don't think it's going to rain much until we get to December, as you'll see in modeling here. And a quick peek at the tropics. We're down to seven days left in the season, and we're pretty much done with it. So model fans, let's take a look at the GFS. This is the 06C run, valid at noon today. You can see that trough digging down through the Gulf, and down below that, wet weather for uh, north-central and South Florida, not the Panhandle, not Pensacola or Destin, but places like Jacksonville, South down to Miami. And for us, again, a sunny, cool Thanksgiving day. Highs 57 to 60. Tomorrow, Black Friday. We start the day in the 30s. And again, some of the spots that are typically colder will see a freeze. High getting up in the low to mid 60s. Iron Bowl Saturday, perfect uh, the sky partly to mostly sunny with temperatures creeping up into the mid-60s in Lee County. What a day for that ball game. And Sunday, no big change. Highs in the 60s, a good deal of sunshine. Monday of next week, uh, it'll be pretty cold early in the day with that new surface high dropping in. We'll probably see temperatures near freezing. The high Monday will be in the 60s. This is Tuesday. We're still dry. There's a front north of here. And Wednesday, just maybe... Enough moisture slivers in ahead of that front for a few scattered showers, but it's certainly not going to be a big rain event. So we might bring in just the chance of showers on Wednesday. And a week from today, Thursday, the 30th of November, trough in the Rockies, a little shortwave ridge here, and again, we're cool and dry. This is the end of the forecast period. This is Saturday, December 2nd. Uh, trough axis a little to the east. And again, a new surge of cool, dry continental air. However, look at this. Now, this is output from the European Ensemble, and it's got 51 members, and you're seeing the display of the 51 members in the top graphic there. And notice how it's all white, nothing showing up between now and the 1st of December. However, once you get into December, you see those nice shades of uh, red and even uh, toward the blues. That's suggesting maybe some big rains in December. And down below is the Ensemble Mean showing over six inches of rain. So I don't think we're getting into a another big long-term drought problem as December looks fairly wet and maybe stormy. Numbers coming off the ensemble, highs 50s and 60s, lows 30s and 40s for the next 15 days, pretty close to average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Now we're on the holiday schedule. Next video will be posted here tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a very happy Thanksgiving, and God bless. Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. 
The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.